Hello everyone, this is my first Blender tutorial. I um, have a few issues I need to resolve, but I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, a seamless loop using a particle system so you don't have to animate every single object um, in your scene uh, to get a seamless loop. I'm going to start out here by just creating a plane. Um, my software keeps glitching, so you'll see in just a moment the um, kind of gray screen, there it is. Um, on my screen capture software, we're going to get that fixed. I'm just creating a plane to use as my emitter. I'm going to scale it up and move it just out of the field of view, just barely above uh, the field of view here in the viewport. And I'm going to change the uh, angle here to about 15 degrees. And that gives a good, um, what appears to be a flat line uh, from the plane, from the viewport. Uh, at this point, I'm going to create the emitter or use that as the emitter and create a particle system. Uh, I do a 10 second particle system. Uh, so for this, you're going to actually change the length of your um, animation to twice the length that you want. So I'm doing 10 seconds at 24 frames per second. I'm gonna create it 40, 480. And then I'm gonna create my particle system to be 240 uh, frames. And just to show you here, 240 frames, it's going to uh, render it out, and then you see that it stops uh, emitting at 240, but particles continue to fall um, until they are out of the screen. So now that we've got that all set, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in an object here. I'm assuming everybody knows how to do particle systems. Uh, I'm just going to use a cube for ease of use. Um, and we're going to create that uh, that cube as the particle. Um, and as we hit play, you notice that they're really small. So if you size them up, you'll notice that they are the cube. Uh, we'll just find a, a nice size here. Um, and then this is the point where you're going to want to make sure all of your uh, particle settings are the way you want them. To me, this is falling a little fast. If you wanted to change your gravity and all that, uh, now would be the time to do it. Because once we um, get the particle settings the way we want them uh, and everything is uh, reacting the way we want it to react, we're going to uh, set up the looping system. Um, and in order to do that, we simply create, uh, with the same emitter, a second particle system. You'll see that the settings there become 0 0.001. We want to change that back to the particle settings for the first system. And then you'll notice it's at 1 and 240. We don't want that to happen again. Um, we want instead to create another particle settings. Now we're at 0 0.002 on our particle system 2. Um, on particle system 1, we were at particle settings. Now we're at particle settings 0 0.002 on system 2. And you want to create a new one for this reason right here. We're going to change the end time to 480 and the start time to 241. If you did not create a new unique particle system, if you just went back to the settings on number one, um, it would change both of them to 241. But now if we hit play again, we see that particles begin at, at frame one, that's particle system one, and at frame 241, particle system two begins. And so we have a good um, continuous flow of particles coming down um, throughout the entire 480 frames. At this point, now that it's working the way we want it to work, we're going to go through and we're going to set our start to 120, uh, it should actually be 121, and our end at 360. So that's uh, 240 frames. Uh, it's taken right out of the middle of this uh, particle system. It doesn't have to be dead center in the middle, uh, but I do that just uh, to make it easy. So now we're going to start at frame 121. Just do a quick render here to show you. Um, oh, I better set it to something visible. Let's just change the uh, cube to uh, an emitter uh, or emission. Um, we're doing cycles render here, so uh, there we go. We got a little glitch still with our uh, screen recording software, but that's 121. 
and let's also do frame uh, 361 even though that's outside of the range of what we're doing when we hit render here it should be identical um, I saved the two frames so just this is just the two frames and they're going back and forth they're just a little bit off and you can get around that by um, clearing the cache and resetting your um, particle systems uh, back to particle setting one and then particle setting zero 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 or zero zero two um, sometimes blender just glitches there for a minute but anyway we're going to rerun it here and I'm actually going to set it uh, start frame 121 in frame 360 we're going to go ahead and encode it as a QuickTime file real quickly um, just leave all the default settings and we're going to animate it out and I'll show you what it looks like here at the end of the um, video. I hope this um, helps somebody. And this is what it actually looks like. We've got set up here for 30 seconds, so they're 10, uh, 10 seconds, um, and then it's repeated three times. So see if you can um, send me something that you guys have made. I'd be happy to, to take a look at it, and I'm curious to see what you can come up with using uh, this technique. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.